Before starting our topic, let me remind you, don't forget to provide your valuable feedback at the end of video and pressing the subscribe button as well. So, let's start. Approach to a patient with palpitations. Let's begin our approach using P3 Maftosa, 3 P's, present complaint, past complaint, personal history. Let's start with present complaint. Do you mind if I ask you what has brought you into hospital? Can you please tell me more about it? At this point, we will take a detailed history of characters, nature, and rate and rhythm of the palpitations. Regarding nature of palpitations, ask, what do the palpitations feel like? Remember, racing of heart suggests a fast arrhythmia. Meanwhile, mist or extra beats followed by a pounding beat suggest ventricular ectopic beats. However, pounding in the neck or everything stopped for a moment may indicate atrioventricular dissociation. Regarding the explanation of this phenomenon, the pounding feeling in the neck is due to cannon A waves, which suggest atrial contraction against closed atrioventricular valves, whereas, the rapid and regular pounding in the neck is typical of reentrant supraventricular arrhythmias. Rate and rhythm. Are the palpitations fast or slow? Do you take your pulse at that time? If so, what was it? Are the palpitations regular? Rapid, regular palpitations suggest sinus tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, and ventricular tachycardia. However, irregular palpitations are suggestive of atrial fibrillation and extracystoles. Now, we ask detailed questions using the mnemonic sodpora regarding onset. How did it start? Did it come on suddenly, or has it been developing over a while? Are the palpitations constant and intermittent? Duration. For how long is it present? Progression. Since the start of symptoms, is it getting better or worse or staying the same? Is it the first time, or were there previous episodes? When was the last episode? How long do the episodes last? Determine the frequency of episodes, how often they are occurring? Aggravating factor. Have you noticed what makes it worse? Is the exercise, stress, alcohol, or caffeine make it worse? Relieving factor. Have you noticed what makes it better? Have you tried stopping them by straining or holding your breath? Remember, supraventricular tachycardia can be terminated by Valsalva maneuvers. Associated symptoms. Age may provide a significant clue towards the diagnosis. Supraventricular tachycardia usually causes palpitations in a young patient. Meanwhile, congenital long QT syndrome may present in childhood and adolescence, whereas atrial fibrillation is more common in a patient older than 65 years of age. At this point, we will make a quick systemic review in order to rule out possible differentials that may result in palpitations. Regarding cardiovascular diseases such as ischemic heart disease and congestive cardiac failure, ask about any associated chest pain, difficulty in breathing, or acing of heart. Moreover, ask, on how many pillows do you sleep? Have you ever woke up to catch your breath? Next, the lungs diseases that may be associated with palpitations in gold pulmonary embolism, COPD, asthma, chest infections. So, ask for any difficulty in breathing, calf tenderness, recent travel history, any whistling sound from breathing, any use of inhalers, history of exposure to pets or occupational dust, and any recent illnesses. Furthermore, regarding gastrointestinal causes that may simulate palpitations include gastroesophageal reflux disease, so, ask about any chest pain, acid brash, nausea, vomiting and any change in bowel habits. Next, ask about symptoms of anxiety, including lack of sleep, difficulty in concentration and feeling of impending doom. Next we are discussing endocrinological causes that may cause palpitations. First ask about the symptoms of thyrodoxicosis, such as weight loss, heat intolerance and mood changes. Next, ask about feature of pheochromocytoma like high blood pressure, headache, sweating, rapid heartbeat, and tremors. Furthermore, ask about any symptoms of diabetes especially any evidence of hypoglycemia, compliance to the medications, recent change in dose of insulin, or any skipped meals, past complaints, similar complaints, has anything like this has happened to you, for how long, what did you take for it, is it well controlled? Are you taking any medication? Ask about use of beta agonists, theophylline, levothyroxine, amiodaron, clarithromycin, azithromycin, amphetamines, and cocaine. Do you have any long-time medical condition? If the patient says yes, 
then ask how long, is it well controlled, check for any cardiovascular risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, or any previous myocardial infarction, do you remember the last blood pressure measurement, have you had your cholesterol level checked, have you ever had an ultrasound of your heart, have you ever been told that you have a heart murmur, ask about hospitalization, saying, have you ever been hospitalized, if the patient says yes, then ask for what purpose, regarding, personal complaints, I'm going to ask you a few personal questions, and whatever you say will be confidential, smoking, do you smoke, if the patient says yes, then ask, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day, for how long have you been smoking, tell me about your sleep, do you drink alcohol, if the patient says yes, proceed by asking what do you prefer to drink, how much, for how long have you been drinking like this, how is your appetite, recreational drugs, by any chance, do you take recreational drugs, if the patient says yes, then proceed by asking, sorry to ask you, but what do you do, how do you take it, if injecting, ask, by any chance do you use a new needle all the time, for how long you are doing this, do you use any other recreational drugs, weight change, have you been weighing on the higher side, if yes, ask about bowel habits, how often do you open your bowels, have you noticed any change, sexual history, are you sexually active, if the patient says no, then ask, have you ever been sexually active, if the patient is sexually active, then ask, sorry to ask you this but are you in a stable relationship, for how long, did you travel abroad before your symptoms, did you have any sexual relationship there, if the patient is a woman, ask about 4P, period, LMP, when were your last periods, if more than 4 weeks, then she might be pregnant, how many days did they last, are they irregular, do you get pain, are you on pills, oral contraceptive pills are a risk factor for pulmonary embolism, pregnancy, if she is not active, so she is not pregnant, then ask, have you ever been pregnant, duration of pregnancy, mode of delivery, how many children do you have, any miscarriage or abortion, any complications before, during, or after pregnancy, pap smear, when did you have your last pap smear, what was the report, was it normal, if it is abnormal, have you booked an appointment with GP, allergy, are you allergic to any particular substance, family history, for carcinoma history in a family is essential, ask, I am very sorry to ask, but anyone in your family is diagnosed with a sinister disease, cancer, also, check for ischemic heart disease or hypercoagulable state like thrombophilia, furthermore, ask about hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and long, QT syndrome, travel history, ask, have you recently traveled abroad, occupation history what do you do for a living, ask about the nature of the work, does it involve exertion that might precipitate palpitations, whether he has had to take time off from work due to his symptoms, social history, where do you live, whom do you live with, do you drive, inquire about the functional status of the patient, particularly the impact on the activities of daily living, anything else you want to tell me, now, in the end, take your time for an impression, then, turn to the examiner and say, based on my history, my most probable diagnosis is this, my differentials are this, this and that, thank you for watching, stay connected and subscribe to this channel for more interesting medical professional videos, and, good luck with your exam.